আমাদের ইন্ট্রোডাকশন সময় শেষ এরপরে আমরা হচ্ছে যে আমাদের পরবর্তী পর্বে চলে যাব আপনাদের নিশ্চয়ই স্বাভাবিকভাবে অনেক প্রশ্ন আছে যে এই কোর্স কবে থেকে শুরু কি কি পড়ানো হবে কি কি আলোচনা হবে সপ্তাহের কোন কোন দিন ক্লাস কোন কোন সময় ক্লাস হবে ইত্যাদি আবার এটা নিয়েও প্রশ্ন জাগতে পারে এই বাংলাতে বিডব্লিউজিইডি বা বাংলাদেশ ওয়ার্কিং গ্রুপ অন এক্সটার্নাল ডেট এটা এটা কি এটা কারা কেন এই কোর্সটি তারা অর্গানাইজ করছে হ্যাঁ সব বিষয়গুলো নিয়ে একটা কোর্স ওভারভিউ দিতে আমি একজনকে ডেকে নিব তার নাম হচ্ছে হাসান মেহেদি উনি বাংলাদেশ ওয়ার্কিং গ্রুপ অন এক্সটার্নাল ডেট এই সংগঠনটির মেম্বার সেক্রেটারি এবং এই অনলাইন কোর্সটির সহ আয়োজক ক্লিন যা ফুল মিনিং দ্বারায় কোস্টাল লাইভলিহুড অ্যান্ড ক্লাইমেট অ্যাকশন নেটওয়ার্কের চিফ এক্সিকিউটিভ তো হাসান মেহেদি সম্পর্কে আমি সংক্ষেপে একটা লাইনই বলবো যে বাংলাদেশের এনার্জি এনভারনমেন্টের ওনাকে আপনারা বলতে পারেন একজন ছোটখাটো এনসাইক্লোপিডিয়া আপনারা যদি ভবিষ্যতে এনার্জি এনভারনমেন্ট নিয়ে কাজ করেন ওনাকে আপনাদের দরকার হবে আমি আমাদের প্রিয় মেহেদি ভাইকে ডেকে নিচ্ছি মেহেদি ভাই আপনি আপনার সেশন শুরু করেন আমরা ইন্ট্রোডাকশন দিতে একটু দেরি করে ফেললাম আসলে অনেকের ইন্টারনেট প্রবলেম বলতে বলতে একটু দেরি হয়ে গিয়েছে তো আমাদের শিডিউল টাইম থেকে একটু বেশি হয়ে গেল এই জন্য দুঃখিত মেহেদি ভাই আপনি শুরু করেন Thank you. Thank you, Shagor. Uh, I'll go fast because we are a little bit, I think, a little bit uh, delayed. Uh, so, welcome all participants, uh, co-organizers, speakers, uh, and uh, I'm happy that you, you managed to uh, join, uh, come and join here. So, uh, this uh, uh, short course, online course on energy environment of Bangladesh is organized by Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt, BWZED in short, but supported by many of our uh, friends and uh, colleagues and uh, co-organizers like 350.org, world famous organization, Bangladesh Environmental Lawyers Association, BELA, um, Change Initiative, CLEAN, Growth Was India, uh, Jack Says Japan, uh, NGO Forum on ADB, Philippines headquartered, but works on all, all over the Asia, records UK, uh, Netherlands, and Urgewar, Germany. Uh, so Bangladesh Working Group is a, uh, is a forum of progressive development activists and organizations from all over the uh, country, primarily formed by NGO Forum on ADB in 2013. Then uh, we, uh, we developed uh, our own policy and uh, uh, Bangladesh People's Safeguard Position Paper in uh, 2015, uh, Bangladesh Working Group actually uh, work on four major uh, thematic areas, one climate and environment, uh, second energy and power, third water and agriculture, and fourth large infra infrastructure. One of our key issue is the uh, immunity of uh, the international financial institutions uh, like ADB, uh, World Bank, uh, AIIB, and IMF. And uh, we uh, go through the accountability mechanism and safeguard policies of uh, safeguard system of these institutions and as well as the international instruments and national law. So this energy course, uh, it's a long journey, uh, around 3,760 uh, uh, pers persons, students are interested and then uh, we came down to 900, some uh, 60, 70 students, then uh, it was it was around uh, 374 uh, final uh, applicants. And then uh, we say have selected uh, only 45 from these mass students. And uh, I think uh, you are lucky that uh, these 45 um, students, you are the uh, all best in that, uh, you know, uh, applicants. And those, and uh, I, 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 sh I have to say also that some of the students uh, or some of the applicants couldn't come to this level uh, due to a little bit, very uh, fraction of point, uh, you know, um, difference between uh, you and them. So uh, the participants are from, uh, you know, Borishal Division, nine participants, Chitong Division, 13, Dhaka Division, eight, uh, Khulda Division, seven, uh, Mamishik Division, two, uh, Rashahi, three, 
Rangpur uh, 4 and uh, Select 2. So we divided this uh, uh, eight division into four clusters, four zones. Khulna Barishal, that means southwest coastal zone, one uh, a zone. Chitagong Cox Bazar is another zone. Uh, Silet Dhaka, this is another zone, and Rashai Rangpur is this, uh, another zone. You know, uh, this this segmentation, this zoning, uh, we have done uh, on the basis of uh, energy investment in in Bangladesh. Most of the energy investment in Chitagong uh, Cox's Bazar and Khulna Barishal zone, then it's uh, Rashai and Rangpur, like Fulbari and uh, Pukuri area, and then the Dhaka, Naran uh, Gajipur, and Silet zone. So that's the segmentation. So gender, we uh, we managed to uh, you know select you uh, you know is a gender gender equality like uh, twenty three male and twenty two female uh, participants are here. Uh, what are the topics uh, we are uh, we will discuss on landscapes on energy uh, in Bangladesh and then emissions from coal gas and other liquid fuels. Uh, environmental and social aspects of the power project. We will uh, also discuss uh, legal aspects of energy and environment in Bangladesh, uh, economic aspects uh, of energy investment in Bangladesh, uh, energy investment from ADB and AIIB, uh, energy and human rights in the World Bank Group, um, investment of China and Japan, Indian investment. So uh, then we will discuss about sustainable development goal and Paris goal and uh, Paris Agreement and what is the relationship between energy and this uh, potential of renewable energy? We also discuss on that. But uh, please remember that this type of session you need around one year to you know uh, a big course. But we have to uh, we have to make it short in uh, you know to to uh, complete it within 12, 12 uh, you know class two end uh, session. Uh, so we have around uh, here. Uh, five experts from Bangladesh and seven experts from uh, 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 other countries or friends from different countries. They will, um, you know, uh, give you a piece on different days. So I'm, I'm uh, giving you a course schedule. So we'll start on uh, 28 February by overall landscape of energy in Bangladesh. Uh, then uh, we discuss on 1st March about emissions from coal, gas, and liquid fuel. Uh, then we'll discuss on energy and environmental governance, uh, legal framework of that. Uh, where we have Rizwan, so the Rizwan Hassan, our uh, APA is here, so she will uh, facilitate that. Uh, so then uh, we'll discuss on environmental social impacts of large infrastructure, especially power project. Our friend from Sri Lanka, Himanta Uthanage, will uh, join us. Uh, we have energy, economic aspects of energy investment in Bangladesh. We have Monwar Mustafa here, uh, the econom he's an uh, economic uh, economist and uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, economists in, in, in the country. Uh, uh, we have then energy investment of ADB and AIB. We have Ryan Hassan, uh, executive director and um, of uh, NGO from ADB, and we have Petra Shell from Recourse uh, to discuss on ADB IAB. Uh, uh, then uh, we'll go to energy and human rights and World Bank Group. We have Knud Boking from Urgewald, uh, Germany. He will discuss on uh, World Bank Group's investments. Uh, then investments of China and Japan. Uh, we have uh, Nora Sausmikat here from Germany. We have um, uh, Wakako from uh, Wakako Kobayashi from Japan. We have Munira Choudhury from Australia to discuss on the things. Uh, of China and Japan. Uh, we have, uh, the Indian investment in the energy sector, we have Vidya here, Vidya Dinka, uh, coordinator of Growth Wars and uh, president of Indian Social Action Forum in SAF. Uh, then I have uh, Zakir Hussain Khan, um, Zakir Hussain Khan here, uh, so he will discuss uh, on sustainable development goal, the Paris Agreement and energy sector of Bangladesh. Uh, and then Finally, uh, we uh, we have uh, the former uh, Director General of Power Sale of Bangladesh, uh, uh, B.D. Rahmatullah, Dr. Uni, uh, he, he will discuss on potential of renewable energy in Bangladesh. And then finally, we'll uh, organize the course evolution on 11th April, uh, certificate giving and closing with that. Uh, 
Uh, so um, uh, that uh, that uh, assessment uh, will be uh, you know we will assess according to your course uh, uh, what's called attend attending uh, on the uh, attendance and then the uh, in course continuous assessment and then the final assignment. So so all of these uh, three uh, uh, parts is uh, is equally important. So finally, this is the model of a certificate. It's not a certificate, it's a model. And uh, thank you very much uh, for your participation. Thank you. So uh, going back to Sagar again. Sagar? Sagar, you're muted, I think. Mehdi bhai, thank you. Mehdi bhai, I have a question for you to give the participants to the session. Mehdi bhai, this discussion is related to course related. We have a question related to our own question. We have a question related to our chat box. We have a specific question. We have a question and answer session. 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 आगे वो प्रश्नों जो दिखा के शेगलो अपनी आपना रहा होती है जो चैट बॉक्स से दिए रखते पड़े शेग शेगलो अमरा रेखे शंग शंगलो खुल करे तो अपन आबार प्रश्नों गुलो अमरा स्पेसिफिक मेहती भाई बा उन लोगों का चंद्र शिटा रखो धन्यवाद मेहती भाई अपनी होती है जो अकोन आमदेर स्पीकर ओ को ऑर्गेनाइजर Okay, now uh, I, I I'll request you, uh, our speakers and co-organizers, uh, to welcome these uh, students and youth uh, participants to welcome uh, in the um, course for next one and a half year. Uh, I will start with uh, Dr. Kazi Maruful Islam, uh, Professor, Development Studies Department, uh, University of Dhaka, to welcome uh, the student. Everybody, I will request you to keep it short within two, three minutes so that uh, all, all can get uh, enough space. Maru Bhai, please. From. Thank you, Mehdi. Thank you, uh, Shagor and, uh, uh, and, and uh, BWGED or Bangladesh Working Group on uh, External Date for organizing such a, an important course for our young folks of the country. As I can, uh, I, I'm, I'm very delighted uh, to be here uh, with all these uh, young students uh, from across the country and also with these esteemed colleagues from uh, different uh, organizations and with different backgrounds. Uh, and I had the opportunity to know many of you like uh, uh, being uh, an kind of academic activist in this area. Uh, and we know like uh, this, this sort of course, like a course on energy environment is, is very important. And uh, I, I, I want to congratulate all of the students who have been uh, selected for participating in this course. Uh, and and uh, I must uh, appreciate that very timely initiative taken by BWGED in Bangladesh. Well, uh, while I was looking at the uh, topics uh, which uh, is planned to be covered uh, during the course uh, for the next uh, uh, two, over the two, next two months or so, Oh, it, it really covered quite a, uh, quite a lot. And uh, as Mehdi already said that it actually it requires a lot of time for uh, getting the graphs of the whole uh, issues. Uh, however, uh, having considered uh, the time pressure and uh, having considered the uh, internet connectivity issues and the pandemic thing, I think uh, uh, at, at least at this very uh, inaugural course like this debut course uh, uh, it's 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 very i mean it's it's wise to uh, keep it short uh, in in terms of time frames and <clears throat> i just like uh, before i conclude my one like uh, i just want to mention few of the things that you know like energy a uh, well, Bangladesh, you know, the development narratives which we are listening every day from the media, from, uh, from the uh, dominant uh, discourse in Bangladesh, that energy is important for keeping the pace of our economic growth. Like, I mean, perhaps uh, that would be wise 
not to have any acrimonious relationship with economic growth and energy. Of course, we want to have the economic growth, uh, economic development uh, uh, going on in the country for sure, uh, and and for which we do need energy. So, uh, but at the same time, we also do recognize that very fact that. Uh, the, this economic development is not all about development. Development is very comprehensive uh, uh, issue. Development has all different aspects. And uh, the development that, that uh, we are listening around, we have to question the very fact that, I mean, what, what kind of development we are talking about and for whom and at the cost of whom and what. So if you look at that very question, that development for whom, and at the cost of whom and at the cost of what, then you basically uh, ends up with a very uh, pertinent question in relation to energy. You know, uh, 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 we, we have like uh, build our capacity to generate uh, energy. In fact, uh, we have doubled our capacity for last, let's say, uh, uh, 10 years or so. But at the same time, uh, this, this uh, energy production, particularly electricity production, mostly, you know, these are uh, fossil fuel based and coal, particularly coal and diesel based energy production we are doing. And uh, we are, unfortunately, we are uh, observing that this energy production are taking toll of our natural environment, of our community, of our identity. And, and, and in many cases, it is also taking the cost of our social coherence as well. So whether this is desirable, the question is, we do need sustainable development. We need the development which, is, uh, which will meet our demand of our present time, but also uh, it will recognize the need for our future generation. So we are, we are uh, I mean, the development what is going on at the moment, it is taking uh, our biodiversity, our uh, natural resources like our land, uh, air, and water, our uh, marine resources, our forest resources, and everything. So do you want this sort of development? So actually, uh, if, you, if, we, if you want to be equipped with the idea, with the knowledge, and with information to question the development itself, then this course will be one of the uh, gateway to get into these issues. So I hope in next few, uh, I mean, in, in, in course of this, uh, this course, you will uh, you will be able to learn the very, uh, uh, very politics inside the energy uh, sector. And of course, you would uh, also be able to learn the politics of development in, in Bangladesh. So uh, I wish um, that uh, the in, in, in next, uh, uh, like, as I saw the topics, uh, maybe I, I should also suggest one of the things. I mean, while I was looking at the topics what, uh, presented by Mehdi, then I think that one of the focuses has been on the international agencies, but perhaps we also look at the local uh, uh, actors as well. I mean, uh, of course, there are political parties, there are business groups, there are uh, different kind of uh, intermediaries inside, uh, and who are also involved in different level with different capacity in these existing energy politics. Perhaps we also do. addition to that international agencies. So I hope uh, you'll, you, you, uh, uh, this course will offer uh, this kind of knowledge. And as I see our international guests and speakers are there, they are very uh, like uh, experienced and uh, uh, our students will be uh, benefited from their experience and expertise on this area. So I wish you uh, the very best. And I hope that uh, you, uh, you will be able to uh, Take, the, take most of this uh, precious opportunity which is being offered to you through this course. I, I wish you uh, the very best and uh, uh, I wish you a successful course uh, in next uh, few weeks from now. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Maruf Bhai, uh, Dr. Maruful Islam, uh, Development Studies Department, Dhaka University. Uh, now I am going to Ryan Hassan, Executive Director. Uh, NGO Forum and ADB. Ryan, by your solidarity speech and welcome the, uh, uh, the participants. Yeah, uh, you have three minutes at most. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Medivai. And uh, I welcome all the participants to this very, very interesting 
course. Um, as NGO Forum on ADB, our interest is basically looking at ADB and AIB finance, and it was great to see that reflected in the course curriculum. Uh, so my short input uh, and statement, I guess, to the participants is being a Bangladeshi kid myself, um, we never had the opportunity of these kinds of trainings growing up. So uh, I'm, I'm very, very appreciative of Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt and Clean and everybody else who made this particular training possible because it opens your uh, window uh, to a much broader debate around energy and environment. And the fact that you guys are in this room means that you care about the planet, you care about the people, you care about um, what's happening around you and you want to be more aware. So uh, keep that fire burning and I wish you a great course ahead. And hopefully we'll get to meet each other during the course uh, itself. So I'm looking forward. Thank you very much. NGO from NADB is also a co-organizer of this session, of this course. And it's, it's, it's first in Bangladesh, I think, uh, this type of course is going to be happened. Uh, so uh, this, is, this is also a test for us. Uh, I think from next course, the participants will pay a little bit fee. Uh, this course is totally free for you all. Uh, and uh, rightly said by uh, Maruf Bhai that uh, local, uh, you know, uh, sponsors also should be included. We will try to include that in our discussion. So I'll go to uh, now go to Petra Shell from Recourse uh, to give a, you know, more uh, very uh, short speech. Thank you. Thank you, Mahedi, and thank you everyone, in particular the Bangladeshi Working Group on External Debt, of course, and Clean for organizing, and, and all of you who are joining this course, and congratulations, you made it. Um, I, I hear it was a, a you know, a, quite a hard uh, decision to pick who would be on this course, so I really look forward to, to meeting you um, a bit further on. Um, I just wanted to give just a, a few words about who we are. So I'm based in London, I work for Recourse, and we look at international financial institutions in particular um, and try and think about how they can contribute to development and environment um, and why they don't always do that. So we have worked with CLEAM, for example, looking at the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank in, in Bangladesh and why they're not supporting renewable energy and instead supporting fossil fuels. So those are the kind of things I think we'll be discussing further on when we meet again um, in about in exactly a month, actually. Um, so so I'll, ke I'll keep this short for now. Um, but just saying, um, yeah, really exciting to be part of this, really look forward to the session further on. Um, and I'm also really looking forward to well, AA sharing some of the knowledge that we've accumulated on different banks and and um, and so on, uh, and working with all all the others. But also to hear from you and learn from you. Um, I I've heard from your that what I've been able to pick up. Obviously, I don't speak. Um, your language, um, but what I've heard from those of you who spoke in English, you have a broad array of experiences. And I think it's going to be more of a dialogue than um, a kind of teacher to student session. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'll leave it at that for now, but really look forward to, to working with you and engaging with you more. And again, congratulations. And um, yeah, this is really exciting. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Petra. Um, uh, as Petra said, I'm, uh, I also uh, sorry for the, my international uh, friends. I'm also a little bit. Uh, I'll try to talk in Bengali also. I'm the chesta korbo je ita golpir moto rakte. Ebang kothin shabdo bolii bawaar na korte. Ebang will terminology I'm the shabshay avoid korar chesta korbo. Kintu akishongi I'm the chesta korbo je ita jeno janar moto hai. I'll go to Jaki Rosen Khan, our friend, and uh, you know the. Chief Executive of uh, Change Initiative, Jakir Bhai is a climate specialist and he has uh, vast, uh, you know, long knowledge on climate finance in Bangladesh. Jakir Bhai, please, a short message for the students. Thank you, Mary uh, for giving me the opportunity just uh, to say hello and to congratulate the participants of this uh, event. Uh, it is, uh, I'm really happy in a sense that at last we have made it. Uh, it is a very competitive process to select the 
participant for these uh, courses. And uh, I would like to emphasize the, uh, the issues has already been mentioned by Petra and, uh, and as well as the Dr. Maraful Islam that this course should be is a more interactive in a sense. It is not like the class and the teacher and student sessions. Um, to know the insights more about the energy sectors in the international levels, its politics, it is, it is the implications for the national level as well. And what are the actually current legal and policy regime exist and what are the gaps and challenges, especially whenever it comes to the uh, application rather than in the, on the legal regimes. So I would request to the participant as well as the um, uh, uh, the course instructor, uh, lecture uh, um, providers that to give more emphasis on the case stories rather than you see uh, theoretical or something like that, uh, you know, the generic type. So if you if focus on more case stories relating to the existing legal, uh, international and local uh, legal regimes as well as other things, that would be more attractive and as well as uh, uh, convenient for the students to learn what is really the um, benchmarks and what are the, uh, you know, the gaps and uh, divergence from the policy and practices. And and the second thing is that it was particularly mentioned by Professor Maruf Islam that, that uh, to focus on the sustainability, what really emphasis to learn more and focusing on the economic cost of the every uh, you know the energy intervention energy productions like coal or renewable energy why we are actually recommending for renewables and why we don't uh, focus for uh, the coal based power plants even it is a uh, financially cheaper so that sort of uh, examples and stories should be disseminated with the participants so that the student could learn the existing what are the you know the uh, sort of uh, I mean um, uh, things are going on in the development in the name of the development why we are not supporting and why do they don't support they go for beyond the existing uh, rhetoric so that should be uh, highlighted very properly so and finally I would say that uh, the 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 we should have sort of some sort of every lectures. Uh, I, uh, we need to just give some sort of small assignment to each participant. I mean, to just uh, what they have learned and to produce uh, some stories on particular from his or her uh, own understanding. That uh, I believe that in the in the final there is a, a course uh, the options, but for every session, if we can do that, the, the real understanding or insight in the extent of insight we, we could learn uh, it would be uh, used it would be just helpful to learn what uh, at what extent the student uh, i mean participant could able to grab the um, lectures so finally from it is a uh, from the change initiative we uh, congratulate the Bangladesh working group and external that for giving us the opportunity and also to select our two of our staffs as well as we try best to do as much as possible in the coming days uh, to bring this course successful in the uh, national level uh, with the new players and uh, with the new insights from the young professionals. Thank you very much, Medhiva um, and others for joining me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jakir Bhai, uh, for such a wonderful uh, insight on, on the course. Uh, or, uh, now I, sh I am requesting uh, Nora Satmika. Nora is a sinologist and uh, Nora works for Urgewal now. Uh, he, um, he looks, uh, um, uh, he always, uh, you know, watch or monitor the uh, Chinese investments, in, including AIIB. Uh, and he has vast knowledge on China, politi Chinese politics and, and the investments in all over the world. Uh, Nora, mic is yours. Yeah, thank you, Mehedi. Um, also from my side, welcome to everybody. It's a very, very exciting experiment and I'm very proud to be part of that and congratulate also everybody that he or she managed um, to get a, a place here in this course. Um, I'm now working for Ugewald. Ugewald, let me just shortly introduce as a senior environmental human rights organization um 
which um, has the, the method of following the money, meaning monitoring the money going out globally for energy investment, but also all other kinds of development um, assistance. So as Mehidi also said, I'm a Sinologist. Um, I'm working on China since 30 years and my special focus is on Belt and Road energy investments and also on political reform and civil society movements in China. And with Urgewald, we work on, on different development banks. And in the course, there will be two of us. There will be my colleague Knut, who unfortunately cannot be here now because he has to join another meeting. This is our life now in the pandemic, joining Zoom meetings. And he will introduce the work on World Bank and uh, energy investments. And I will focus on China. And I'm very much looking forward to meet all of you. And I think it's like Petra already said, it will be more dialogue than teaching because you are you, you cover such a vast variety of majors. And um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward. Thank you, Nora. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you know, uh, dear uh, your friends, you know, Nora mentioned Belt and Road. So some of you uh, can't understand what is Belt and Road. So uh, from uh, course coordinator, from our side, course coordinator will send you every weekly, uh, you know, a list of glossary uh, which uh, keywords will be used in, uh, in next sessions. So that you can understand that this is uh, what it is called. Uh, so that's it. So now uh, I'll request uh, our friend Vidya uh, Dinka, who is the coordinator of uh, uh, Growth Wars and also the president of Indian uh, Social Action Forum, INSAF, which is a large uh, you know, forum of activists in India, around 17 states. and. Uh, she is the president of that forum. Vidya, mic is yours. Hi, hi, Mehdi. Hi, all. Um, well, you've been welcomed enough, I guess. I don't need to say that. And you've been also congratulated, so I won't um, say that too. Uh, you know, activists, um, it's just another word for being idealists, dreamers, um, and uh, dreamers of a better world for all. And so as students, um, we are often compelled by everyone around, parents, teachers, um, even the state, frightened into a kind of silence. And uh, I think collectively, all the co-organizers of this e-course uh, are really hoping that together with the technical knowledge on fossil fuel energy, uh, and uh, investments in Bangladesh, um, also with the sharing of the real impacts on communities in Bangladesh and, um, uh, you know, and uh, those around you, you will pick up some of the, the kind of drive, the fire, and the commitment of the activists of the Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt to really challenge this worldview which keeps us stuck in the fossil fuel rut. Uh, so um, that is our collective hope for all of you, and we're very happy um, uh, to have you on board. I will come and see you uh, some other time, a little later in the course, where we'll talk of um, India's fossil fuel investments in Bangladesh and how they impact both countries. Um, look forward to that and uh, enjoy yourself primarily enjoy it and i'm sure great things will come out of it thank you thank vidya you. but we need we we demand uh, at least one line in bengali from you ami bangla oto bhalo boli na ektu ektu boli that's your line thank you very much now i'm going i'm coming back to bangladesh again we have one of uh, our you know veteran activist on environment in of bangladesh and you know, he laid a process, he leads a process which is uh, all over the country. Mr. Sharif Jamil, uh, Secretary, General Secretary, Bangladesh Poribesh Andolan Bapa, he will 
just today he will only welcome you but on the next one day he will you know describe you all uh, about environmental impact of energy uh, projects in all over the country in a in a, in a session uh, in, in future yeah uh, sorry by mike hello, hello and good afternoon here uh, it is really an honor and privilege for me to have an opportunity to congratulate all of you the participants who actually came here and been selected through a very rigorous process i welcome you uh, and echoing the all the good wishes for you together with other speakers and i wish every success of this training and this kind of initiative should be coming up more and more so i really appreciate the organizers and organizers on behalf of Bangladesh environment movement, BAPA, we are paying our solidarity and we are very happy to see this uh, coming together. And I'm really jealous to find myself not to be a trainee here, looking into the course issues and training uh, issues. Those are so important and those are so uh, very crucial issues for me to also learn a lot from all, of, all the very uh, very veteran speakers and trainers so uh, next uh, couple of weeks uh, i will be trying to know as much as i can from Mehdi Bhai and other friends we have what is coming up and i wish you all the best and very success of this initiative thank you so much thank you thank you uh Shari Bhai. uh now amra uh, let's go a little bit east uh, Wakako Kabayashi from uh, Japan Center for uh, Sustainable Environmental Societies Access. Uh, she will uh, uh, take a session in future on Japanese investment, but uh, now she is going to welcome you all. Wakako. Hello, everyone. My name is Wakako Kobayashi, and I'm a program staff at the Japan Center for Sustainable Environment and Society otherwise known as JAXIS. And we are an environmental NGO based in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm very, very honored to be here today. So first of all, I'd like to thank Mehedi BWGED, the co-organizers, partners, and the students who are joined here today for making this great initiative possible. And also welcome to the students. And I'm really happy to see your keen interest, enthusiasm, and commitment to learning about energy investments um, in Bangladesh and to discuss ways to achieve climate justice. Um, so every, week, every year we see the impacts of the climate crisis intensifying through extreme weather events. And now more than ever, millions of young people all over the world are mobilizing and raising their voices to demand greater action from governments and corporations to fight climate change. And this online course I think is very timely in that matter as it aims to help the youth take action to protect the future of this planet, um, you know, through education and awareness raising. And in the session I will be speaking at, I hope to discuss in depth about Japan's energy investments and involvement in Bangladesh, as Japan through the Japan International Corporation Agency is one of the biggest financiers of the energy sector in your country. So again, I'm very excited to be part of this initiative and to discuss with you all about a just and equitable transition to a sustainable future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wakako. Now uh, I'll request uh, Munira Choudhury uh, from Market Forces Australia. Munira, it's, it's late night in, in Australia. She is here for you all. Uh, Munira, uh, my to yours. Thank you, maybe bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Munira Choudhury. I'm Bangladeshi, but I live in Melbourne, Australia. And I work for an environmental NGO called Market Forces. And the work that we do is trying to shift finance away from environmentally damaging projects towards ones that are solutions to a better environment and better climate for our future. I'm really excited for you all. It's going to be fun. All the learnings, like I was looking at the uh, list of all the courses and I, like Shori Pai said, I really am keen to attend as a student now. Um, so have fun while you're learning, share the knowledge that you're learning. Um, it's going to be great. And what we have here is really special. So you must know that you're special to be here. 
um, and the things that you learn will be applied to your work and life in general. So good luck, everyone, and um, have fun. It's going to be great. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Munirapa. Uh, now, uh, come back to Bangladesh again. Uh, Monoar Mustafa, uh, General Secretary, uh, Democratic Budget Movement, uh, Convener, Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt, uh, and Economist, uh, now also focusing on environment and uh, energy. Mon Monoar, bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you. Uh, my name is Monwar Mustafa. I'm the convener of Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt. And I congratulate all of you, especially who have got, who have successfully got enrolled in the program, in the training program, and who, people who have uh, made speeches to inspire the students and youth who are going to be participated in the training program. It was a dream of the Bangladesh Working Group on External Date for long to make it happen that one fine morning we would be working with the students and youth uh, focusing on energy issues in general and many other areas in particular. So now things are going to be happening, hopefully with the participation of you people. And I thank you all 40 newcomers. I thank you all of you in advance. And thank you very much who have made great speeches to inspire these young champs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel Bhai. Now uh, we are about to uh, close this uh, session. Uh, I would like to request uh, our Inspire, inspiration, uh, Sayada Rizwana Hassan, uh, Chief Executive, Bangladesh Environmental Lawyers Association, Bela. Rizwana Appa to uh, thank all, everybody and, uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, close this session uh, for now. Uh, Rizwana Appa, Sayada Rizwana Hassan. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I think this has been this is a very timely initiative and i congratulate mehdi and his team for taking this initiative we have just joined his hands it would have been as participatory as this one if we didn't join hands but it's actually a privilege for the organizers also to be uh, part of um, this sort of a, of a program and i think this sort of programs can actually be the change makers those of you who will be participating here, I don't know what expectations you have, but as an environmental activist, I can tell you that if you attend all the lectures, if you remain regular in the workshop, it will actually help you in changing your mindset. You think of life in a particular way. We all think of life in a particular way, but we would know that the way we think about how we should be you know, um, enjoying our life, how we should be leading our life, that particular thing will actually be forced to change after you attend this session. We are all very happy to see all our national monuments and buildings um, covered with colorful lights on special days. But then whether that's the right thing to expect, that's the right thing to, that's the right way to celebrate life is something that we have to, ask ourselves. Uh, we, we have this notion called energy justice for our very existence, for the existence of this earth. It's important that we rethink our current development pattern and we force for a paradigm shift in the, in a, in the energy governance. So you will learn a lot about how exploitative even we ourselves are and how better uh, we could we could uh, you know behave to make the art a much safer place for ourselves and our next generation we have to be choosing a path of development that will create less pressure on the earth and i think this particular workshop or training whatever we call it will not only feed you with information 
facts and cases and analysis, but we'll give you the values that we must nurture. If we really want this art to survive, if we all want to survive and want a safer place for our, our future generation, these are the values that we need to hold, pass on to the next generation and nurture. And, and one more thing that I wanted to say is uh, about you all, the participants, See, it's important that you attend this workshop so that when we talk about the change in the leadership, that process is fostered. It's not us who will be leading the world in next 20 years. It's you guys who will be doing it. So if you know uh, what changes are needed in the energy scenario to um, ensure climate justice, to ensure environment justice, and to ensure energy justice, then we should actually be training you and that's what um, we are planning to do here so as future leaders we are passing on the we are, we are passing on the onus to you all as future leaders and um, i think it is a very important issue it is the issue the environmental justice issue of today uh, because if climate change happens if we do not really change our energy practices and climate change happens the half of the world will actually disappear uh, from the globe. We must not allow that to happen. So with these words and by thanking all the previous uh, speakers and congratulating um, the Mehmedi and his team and all of you who are participating, I would like to conclude here. I'll see you all again on 7th of March, as I say it. Thank you, Mehdi. Thanks all. Thank you very much, Appa. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, friends. Um, uh, here. Khushid Bhai, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Uh, and uh, students, please uh, stay or uh, participants. Uh, only you know uh, speakers and uh, and the guests. Uh, I would like to you know pay thanks and uh, uh, bye bye for now.